Welcome to the class. My name is Mr. Lukman, or sometimes you can call me Mr. Ceres. In the previous class, we looked about the plate tectonics, some uh, cause of plate tectonics. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to explain the plate tectonic boundaries. First, we have to understand what plate tectonic boundary. This is the zone whereby two plates of similar or contrasting characteristic meet. That's the definition of the plate tectonic boundaries. This is the most important part to the geologist and meteorologist since the dynamic activities such as seismic process, volcanism, and mountain buildings are major characteristic phenomena. I mean that in this boundary, there are an experience. There is an experience of the uh, volcanism, seismic processes, mountain building. That's why uh, those meteorologists and geologists learn in the in those zone. So let's come up with the classification of a plate boundary. Or sometimes you can see types of a plate boundary. There are three types of plate boundary which are classified according to the direction of a plate movement or mode of interaction. Uh, the first one is the transform plate margin or you can say transform plate tectonic boundary, a divergent plate margin, convergent plate margin. Starting with the transform plate boundaries. These plate margin are also referred as a conservative zone whereby neither plate is destroyed nor constructive uh, during interaction. The two plates are sliding past to each other, moving in a different direction. Uh, an excellent example of such kind of uh, uh, cons conservative zone, uh, we have a uh, Plate boundaries which found when Juan de Fuca plate and Northern American plate interact. So now we are going to look at the characteristic features of a transform boundaries. In transform plate boundaries are characterized by the following features. The first one, formation of faulty valley, such as an Andres faulty valley in North America, which formed due to the interaction between Juan de Fuca plate and North American plate. The second one is formation of a crustal displacement. Uh, third one, occurrence of earthquakes. Because the plates are moving and the resulting are uh, faulting, which allow the seismic wave to outward in form of shaking and vibration, the part of the earth's crust. Uh, let's come up with the divergent plate boundary. These are plate margin whereby new lithosphere is created. Therefore, they are also referred as the constructive constructive zone. They are plate zone in which plate move apart in a divergent fashion, resulting in upwelling of molten material from the athenosphere. Characteristic features of the features of the divergent plate zone: the first one, formation of the new lithosphere. Second one lead to the formation of Rift Valley, example the Great East African Rift Valley. Also formation of submarine long root mountain range or sometimes you can say mid oceanic ridge. Also formation of offset transform fault. Another one shallow focus aspects, I mean that the aspects which occur near the surface. And the last one is active basaltic volcano with a high rate of heat flow. So let's come up with the convergent plate boundary. These are plate margin in which the plate move toward one another. Uh, this plate boundary are known as, uh, which are known as a destructive uh, zone, which are known as a destructive zone. Uh, there are two subcategories of convergent plate boundary. The first one is subduction zone. What is subduction zone? Uh, these are the plates where the where when two plates meet, the denser one is forced to sink downward beneath the other plate, depending on types of plate involved. Where there are two types of subduction plate boundary. The first one is oceanic continental plate subduction zone. These are plate zone in which two plate converge. The denser oceanic plate is forced to go beneath the lesser, the less denser continental plate. The best example of this plate zone 
lie along such American western margin where the oceanic Nazca plate is subducting beneath the continental South American plate. Also we have oceanic oceanic plate subduction plate margin. These are plate subduction zone uh, include convergence of two plates of similar density. Excellent uh, example of such zone include convergence between Philippine plate and Pacific plate. So now come up with the collision zone. The first one is subduction zone and the second one is collision zone. These are the plate margin where two continental collide but neither of the continental crust is forced to move downward because both the plates are of the similar density. Best example is colliding is collision between Indian plate and Eurasian plate with the formation of Himalaya mountain Nepal. Characteristic features of convergent plate boundary. First one, formation of volcano islands, example the Japanese islands and Aulatian islands or sometimes you can say archipelagos in Pacific Ocean. Another one is formation of volcanic mountain in when fault reach at the atmosphere and magma upwell to solidify on the earth's surface. Also we have a formation of faulty mountain uh, when plate converge, example the Andres, Andes Mountain, Himalaya Fold Mountain, Rocky Fold Mountain, and others. For me, also, formation of the deep oceanic trench, example, Mariana Trench and Tonga Trench in the Pacific Ocean. Formation of block mountain, example, Voges and the block forest in German. Formation of the earthquakes. Uh, this is the end of our class. Thanks for watching. So, let's meet another class.